For those of you wondering, yes, I'm still very annoyed by yesterday's debacle with the Newcastle game in which I hit the button on my microphone that caused it to pause. And the reason being is because I use the reefer filter for uh, background noise. Um, and I have that open and I can always tell when I'm talking because the yellow line is moving up and down. And I know I filtered my voice out before on occasions and I've had to go back and fix that. And it's literally within my line of sight when I'm watching the game. It's right over here. And I did not notice yesterday during the Newcastle game at all that the line was not moving. And that's completely on me. Um, as a result of that, though, we're on a five-game winning streak. We beat Wolves 5-1. Uh, Elisa goal, Verona goal, Edward a goal, Mitchell a goal, Mateta a goal. And then we beat West Ham 3-2, Mateta brace a goal, Verona goal. And we beat Norwich 3-2 on a Mateta 95th minute goal. We totally FM them. Fosu a goal, Mateta brace a goal, one in the 77th minute to give us the tie. I was happy with the tie, and then the game kept going and going and going, and he scored in the 95th minute. And then we thumped Burnley 3-1. Burnley's in, in last place. Uh, Mateta, again, a brace of goals, Pali re goal. So today, it's Arsenal in the FA Cup semifinal and Brentford. And then we're probably going to wrap up the season at Man City uh, next episode. Currently, we are in fourth place on 66 points. We've kind of broken away from United and Arsenal West Ham is still in the mix, and we've got a run of games coming up that is going to be a bit tough, I think. We end the season, and I'm clicking on the wrong thing. We end the season, Sheffield United, Bournemouth, Man U, Man City. We've got Sheffield United, Bournemouth, who are getting relegated, but they qualified for the Euro Cup too by dint of winning the Carabao. Man United, Man City. So both the United games are going to decide where we finish this season. I think we'll still finish in European football. I don't know for sure, though. So against Arsenal today, um, you know, we'll go back and do this again. It's only seven on the bench. So we've got Sessegnon on. He can play all back for Thaler, Zagadu, Mitchell Riedewald is there. Riedewald can also replace Sioni and Chapdury. Verona is on because Eze is injured. Olise, who is about ready to set the club record with assists. Eduardo Mateta, we're going to switch those two. I think I should probably bring on bring on Ferguson to take Pavlinka's spot. Make sure I am recording. Hey, the yellow line's moving. I am recording. Oh, we're playing at Arsenal. They still got a great team. Shaduri, back to Guehi. Guehi over to Anderson. Anderson feeds Edward. Edward drops it off, passes intercepted. Odegaard, nice back heel pass. Gabi got by the defenders, and he puts it away. Alte came up, and Gabi just went around him. It was not all Alte could do. It was a poor, poor pass that started that off. I don't know what Edward was thinking dropping that off. Tierney was right in front of Elise. Literally a minute and a half in. Guehi picks up the ball. Gets it to Chaudhuri to Mitchell. Zagadu. Back to Anderson. Over to Mitchell. Chaudhuri. Sayoni. Edward. A lot of nice passing. 1-2. Elise. Right at Mascara. Verone can't get to the ball. And he's got a yellow card already. Chaudhuri's got a yellow card too. We're not even 15 minutes into the match. Tierney on the throne to Odegaard. He one taps to Aubameyang. Back to Tierney. Odegaard to Thomas. Odegaard out to Tierney. On the left, he crosses it in. Berardi's there. Zagadu chests it down. Bangs it forward. Mateta heads it to Edward. Edward's dispossessed because he's got three Arsenal players surrounding him. Aubameyang to Gabriel. Tierney. Aubameyang to Gabi. Chaudhuri knocks it to Sayoni. Up to Verone. Long pass towards Mateta. Mateta doesn't have help yet. Sends it in. Edward's there and he heads it over the crossbar. We have not been proficient with the ball. Seven shots, one on target. 
we're beating them on headers, we're beating them on tackles, we're beating them on passes, and yet we're a goal down. Guehi on the throw-in to Elise, who's picked up an injury. Chaudhuri bangs it back to Alte. Alte out to Verone, but it's headed away. Mitchell, however, picks it up, gets it to Verone. Verone, Sayoni crosses it in. Elise is there, and he scores. His 11th goal of the season. So he's double digits now in goals and assists. What's his injury? He seems to be moving well. And I haven't seen anything pop up saying he wants to come off. Nice backhill pass by Sayoni. What's the Elise injury? Oh, it's not going to show me here. Pepe. Cuts inside, then outside. Holds it up. Tomasayu. Gets it back to Pepe. In the box, Tomasayu crosses it into Bamiang's there, but it's I think it's headed over the crossbar. Bandar may have got a head on the ball. But I don't know. Elise has picked up an injury. But it's not showing up on the thing. Okay, whatever his injury is, it's not showing up on the reports here. Gabby, to the Conga, Thomas, Odegaard, up into space. Tierney's going to run it down. Tierney crosses it in. Pepe's there, but he skies it. We're coming up on 65 minutes. Oh, I can go here and look at it. Potential foot injury. Wants to stay on, but injury is affecting him. Okay, we're going to have to get Olis off and bring on Perez. We're going to get Pul we're going to get Edward off. He's having a horrible game. We're going to bring on Poligri and switch him and Mateta around. Veron, I'm going to have to leave on. I'm going to bring Guayhi off and bring on Ferguson. It's a risk with Chaudhuri and, and Veron. If either one of them goes off because of a second yellow card, then that's completely on me. But Olis getting injured really hasn't helped us. Odegaard. And Bindar, uh, Alte, Bayandar, a very nice save. Gabriel, up to Tierney. Oh, pass is intercepted by Chaudhuri. Poligri takes a shot, he puts it in from distance. Oh, what, that, that was nice. Gabriel hit it to Tierney. Tierney hit a pass. Chaudhuri stepped right in front of Longstaff. Poligri got the ball and just banged it in from 27 yards, 28 yards, top of the D. Odegaard sends it in. Tomiyasu's there, but he heads it high and right. And that is the game. We beat Arsenal thanks to a Pedro Poligri goal. And we are in the FA Cup Finals. And for some reason, Rudewald is nervous about that. I don't know why. I'm very thrilled. Olise is out for one to two days with a bruised ankle. We received 900,000 pounds for that. Do we know who we're playing and when we're playing them? Playing Liverpool or Wolverhampton. So this may be a triple live com coming up for the United games. It's going to depend on where we are at Man United. Um, we got, we're going to do Sheffield and Bournemouth offline and then come back next episode. It's going to be United. And we'll take a look at where we are at United. If United, playing United isn't going to affect where we stand, then we won't play them. If it will, then we'll play both United games. Otherwise, the last episode is going to be the FA Cup and a season review, which I didn't do last season. So we are going to be back with the Brentford game in just a bit. Well, Brentford is in 19th place. They're fighting relegation, so you know we're going to get their best effort. The question is, we'll take a look when it comes back up here, can they avoid relegation? I know Bournemouth it was one spot ahead of them, but that was before the last match. So, well, we picked up a couple minor injuries during the week of the, you know, one to three days and five to seven days issue. So it's not going to be our strongest squad. Um, I'll take a goal. Mitchell Zagadu, Anderson, Guayhi are good. Hughes, Chaudhuri are good. Eze, Olise are good. Mateta, Edward are good. It's the guys on the bench. Um, Malatini is going to take Pavlenka's place. Eze is not exactly 100% match fit. Just coming back from yet another injury. 
We've got Verone on the bench to replace him if need be. So Brentford is currently in 19th place. They're going to give us a tough game. Elise. Oh, Ajer intercepts the pass. Wasn't a great pass to begin with. Lewis to Hall. Back to Lewis. Up into space. Onyeka got behind the defenders. He sends it back to Lewis. Out to Hall. Lewis. Back to Janelt. Claudinho. Top of the box. Oh, he feeds Mabuena and puts it in far post. That was a good shot. Nice job by Claudinho. Mabuena was just sitting right between the defenders and just... Yeah, that happens. Eze, back to Zagadu. Zagadu brings it up. Gets it over to Chaudhuri to Edward. Edward up to Mateta, got by the defenders. Holds it up. Eze's there, and he hits the crossbar, and it goes out. Whew. Unlucky at that. Alte to Anderson. Over to Chaudhuri to Guehi. Guehi feeds Olise. Back to Guehi. Drops off to Edward. Chaudhuri bangs it forward. Mateta again. He gets it back to Eze. Eze, back to Mitchell. Mitchell to Hughes, Hughes to Chaudhuri, Chaudhuri to Guehi, Guehi fits, sends it in, Edward can't get the ball, can't get his foot on the ball properly, bounces it off a Brentford defender and it goes out of bounds. We've had five shots, we haven't had any on target. I suspect there's going to be some yelling done at halftime. Mitchell on the throw in, Edward, oh, Rhea jumps up and grabs it, I didn't even see him in the crowd. He bangs it forward. Hall heads it forward. Bander is going to come out. Gather it up. Over to Zagadu. To Mitchell. Mitchell back and forth on the defense. Anderson and Chaudhuri. Chaudhuri to Elise. Elise gets by his defender, but he loses the ball. Lewis kicks it back to Rhea. Rhea sends it forward. Anderson heads it down to Chaudhuri, who feeds Mateta, who on the break... Machetta, Edward, and we equalize just before the half. Edward's 25th goal of the season. Nice job by Chowdhury, sending it up into space. Machetta runs up on it, realizes he doesn't have the shot, wisely lays it off for Edwards. For Edward, I should say. And with that goal, we equalize just before the half. Lewis on the throne for Brentford gets it to Hall. Hall back to Giga. Gigo. Gijo. Mitchell. Back and forth. That was kind of dangerous. Mitchell up into space. Mateta's not going to get there before Ajer does. Janelle to Grimes over to Tony. Mabuemo. Zagadu taps it back to Bayandar. Sent forward. Oh, all this back and forth. Guehi, Alte, Zagadu, up to Mateta. Mateta lays it off to Hughes. He sends it back to back. Zagadu, Hughes to Eze, out to Mitchell. He sends it up. Mateta holds it up. Edward's there, and he gets his second goal of the game. A nice job by Mateta. Yeah, Rhea couldn't do much to stop that. 12 shots, 4 on target. 1 one work hit, 1 clear cut chance, 2 half chances. Okay, 60 minutes in. Eze is not doing the best. Plus Chowdhury's picked up a yellow. So bring it Chowdhury off and bring on Blanco. And we're going to get Eze off and bring on Verone. Although they were saying Eze is having an excellent game. Oh, I mean, I read that wrong. That was Edward that was supposedly having an excellent game. And Edward is having an excellent game. Mitchell. Gets the ball back to Hughes. Hughes feeds Mitchell. Mitchell to Hughes. 
centers the ball to Blanco. He feeds Olise, who one-taps it into the goal for our third of the match. That was nice. Are they going to look at it? Well, he may have been offsides. Let's see. No, it looks like he was on sides. That was a nice touch pass by Blanco. Yeah, he was on sides. He came on sides. Elise off the throw and back to Guehi. Guehi up the line. Back to Edward, to Blanco. Blanco to Guehi, back to Blanco, Olise, Hughes, top of the box. Oh, Rea, very nice save. That would have been a great goal, but that was a great stop by Rea. Olise on the corner kick. Blanco tries heading it in, Ajer knocks it away. Somebody was fouled. Hughes off the penalty, well, the kick. Oh, Mateta off the nice Olise pass, his 20th goal of the season. So I've got two strikers with 20 goals. And Mateta has double-digit assists, too. God, my guys keep performing like this. It's going to be hard to hold on to them. You know teams are going to come after him. I signed a lease to a new contract this season. He has a 56 million pound release clause. And you know teams are going to give that to him. And Guayhi just went down with an injury. That is mildly annoying. Okay, so we're going to bring on Sessignon. Lanzini had to go off injured, too. Apparently, there was a meeting between Guayhi and Lanzini. They both ended up going off. Well, not the best game from a statistical point of view, I suppose. 26 shots, 8 on target. But we had a 2.51 XG. Only one clear-cut chance, two half chances, slight, slight possession advantage, but a 4-1 victory over a very game Brentford team. They had their chances. So the question now is, it's still showing Guayhi injured on the field. That's interesting. What happened to Guayhi? Ow, oh, three to four weeks with a twisted ankle. I'll take it close. Well, at least was very good. I'm going to save the game here. We'll be right back. So, with that victory, we are currently in fourth place on 69 points. United is four points behind us. Arsenal is six points behind us. West Ham is probably out of the running, at least for top four. We've got Sheffield United and Bournemouth coming up. I'll play those offline. Take a look at where we are. If we're far enough ahead that Man City can't catch us and knock us out of fourth place... I'd rather United. I'll skip United and play Man City. And then we'll play Liverpool and go from there. So otherwise it may just be a... Well, I don't want to do a triple live comm in a long episode again. I did one earlier in the season, but that was more with regards to screen flow and some scouting stuff and things like that. I'm trying to keep the episodes under a half hour. So since January, the end of January... We have lost all but two games with no draws, and that is a big reason. That is the reason we're doing as well as we are. Our second half has been much better than our first half. And the kicker is the, the players we brought in are, I don't think have been key to it. They've contributed, but none of them have taken over a starting spot. I brought them on as depth more than anything else, and they've performed admirably. When you consider in April, we have a really good chance of going undefeated as opposed to January, when we won two, lost one, and drew two. No, we, we won four, actually. You know, but it was just, we're doing really well. Everybody seems to be clicking. So the question now is, with the end of the season coming, how many of our players are going to get chased after? Edward is wanted by Le Lester. Mateta is wanted by Lester. Milvojevic, well, he's leaving at the end of the um, year anyways. His contract ends soon. Sessignon's wanted by Wolves. I don't know. Remains to be seen. Schlepp is wanted, but I believe he's coming to the end of contract. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got our work cut out for us. But I think with a little help from 
maybe some acquaintances in the league, we can we can secure a top four, which would be nice. I was aiming for European football. I thought fifth or sixth would be great. Um, we're doing we're gonna we're gonna achieve that. I think. I don't think there's any way we can fall. Well, okay, there's. I mean, it's four games left. And we're four points up, so it's entirely possible we could fall out of fourth place. There's a slim chance we could sneak up into third. I don't think that's going to happen though. Chelsea's just too good. City has a lock. Well, City doesn't have a lock on first place. It's going to be a battle between City and Liverpool. And that's what. That's one of the reasons I'm kind of fearing the City game at the end of the season because if first place is at stake, they're going to give us their best shot, and we're just going to have to do what we can to upset them. So that said, a good episode for us. Some, some very solid victories for us. Some very nice offensive play by us. On our defense, we didn't see a lot of it, but it was obviously good enough that we won both games and quite comfortably. Uh, four winning against Brentford, two winning against Arsenal. I'm quite happy with that. That Arsenal game was key. That really, really helped us. So that said, if you did like what you've seen and heard, please have a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Questions, criticism, comments, leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellico. I thank you for watching.